1967, the KGB attached me to this magazine, Look Magazine. A group of 12 people arrived to USSR from the United States to cover the 50th anniversary of October Socialist Revolution in my country. From the first page to the last page, it was a package of lies, propaganda cliché, which were presented to American readers as opinions and deductions of American journalists. Nothing could be far from truth. These were not opinions. They were not opinions at all. Uh, they were the clichés which the Soviet propaganda wants American public to think that they think. That, if it does make any sense at all. It sure does, because from the viewpoint of the Soviet propaganda, although there are some subtle criticism of the Soviet system, the basic message is that Russia today is a nice, functioning, efficient system supported by majority of population. That's the biggest lie. And, of course, American intellectuals and journalists from Look magazine elaborated on that untruth in various different ways. They intellectualized that lie. They found all kinds of justifications for telling lies to American public. Um, this Excuse is. Excuse me. It was partly your job to make sure that they got these ideas yes. and accepted them as their own ideas. Right. Actually, even before they arrived to USSR and they paid astronomical sum of money for that visit, uh, they were submitted. Uh, the, this Novosti Press agency developed so-called backgrounders. 20, 25 pages of information and opinions which were presented to the journalists even before they bought their tickets to Moscow. They had to analyze the situation and judging on their reaction to that backgrounder, the local Novosti representative or local Soviet diplomat in Washington, D.C. would assess whether they have, whether they be given visa to USSR or not. Yeah, so but they were selected ahead oh, of yes, time. Oh, yes, they were, they were pre-selected very carefully. And uh, there is not much chance for honest journalists to arrive to USSR and to stay there for one year and to bring this uh, package of lies back home. This, for example, is a centerfold of the, of, of the Look magazine. They presented this monument erected by Communist Party in Stalingrad as the symbol, personification of Russian military might. And they said in the article, which is published on, on the side that Soviets are very proud of the victory in the Second World War. This is another big myth, a lie. No sensible people would be proud to lose 20 millions of their countrymen. Most of the Soviet citizens look at this type of monuments with disgust and sorrow because every family lost father, brother, sister or child in the Second World War. Yet American journalists who were trying to appease to please their hosts presented this picture on the center fold as the symbol and personification of Soviet national uh, they call it Russian national spirit and it was greatest greatest misconception and, and a very tragic misunderstanding of course Luke magazine was not distributed in USSR the main uh, audience was in the United States but uh, I presume that many Americans, millions of Americans who were reading Look magazine at that time had absolutely wrong idea about the sentiments of my nation, about what the Soviets are proud of and what they hate.